Thank you for uh, purchasing a wireless power line detector from Simrad. I just want to go through all the components so you know what uh, you have received and you know what to do with it. Uh, we've laid out all the components here uh, clearly so that you can see uh, exactly as I go through what each one is. Uh, first of all, let's begin here with the, um, uh, the solar powered um, wireless sensor. Uh, one of these will be mounted on your, the knuckle of your excavator and this one here will be mounted at the bucket or close to it. Uh, the sensor itself uh, consists of a solar powered cell. This provides uh, continuous uh, charging for the internal battery inside. I will come back uh, to this sensor later on and uh, describe clearly how it is connected. Uh, the other components in the system, the main component is the display and uh, presently this display is showing two sensors which are connected here and they are displaying uh, readings of 10 and 8 which is uh, a very low uh, power reading, there's no, there's no power uh, being detected. Uh, this is the main display, uh, we will address this in another video, how, how to operate that. Uh, over here we've got the display mounting bracket which is uh, metal and can be bolted onto your uh, uh, inside your cab. Over here we've got the um, horn, external horn, uh, which is uh, mounted outside the excavator uh, to alert your uh, operators or uh, workmen that are on the ground uh, that there is um, an alarm uh, present. Uh, here we have the uh, power cable. Uh, now the power cable is connected and color coded at the back here. Uh, all, the, all the plugs uh, at the back, which we will show you on another video, are all color coded and you cannot make a mistake in, in connecting the cables. Uh, it's the power cable, the relay cable and the speaker cable or the horn cable. And that summarizes all the components in the system.